Namaste. I'm Rosalind Earle with Yoga for Peace. It's a nonprofit educational organization. Yoga for Peace is dedicated to promoting yogic principles, philosophy, and its practice. For more information about the Yoga for Peace organization, you can visit yoga4peace.org. Today it is my great honor to be here to introduce you to Kevin Post and Lola Scarborough. They are the co-creators of Yoga Lola Studios, a yoga learning and healing center here in League City, Texas. And for those of you who aren't familiar with this area, League City is sandwiched between Houston and Galveston, Texas. Welcome. Namaste. 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 Thanks Thank for being here, Roz. It's my great honor to be here with both of you. So to start with, Lola, could you give me a little bit of background about yourself? What brought you to yoga and healing work and what that what your role is in the Yoga Lola studio? What brought me to yoga was I was going through a transition period in my life. It, I was having um, a lot of changes, a lot of transformation. And somehow yoga came up for me. And I knew from the first time I went in and I sat down in the class that I had found a place that was safe for me, where I felt like I could breathe again, where I could relax. And that started my journey a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And the healing work? The healing work that I do, I use a lot of the yoga techniques when I work with people. I teach breathing exercises, I teach uh, simple uh, yoga postures that help open you up, that help settle you down, and help you work with what is, for everyone, a daily event, stress. Mm -hmm. um, and I work a lot with weight loss, depression, those sorts of things, using yoga as a technology. Mm -hmm. yeah broad in that way and does offer a lot for a lot of people. And Kevin, can you tell me a little bit about your background? What brought you to yoga and your role at the studio? My background um, is in the sciences and also in theology and um, I became very interested in finding an integration between both science and spirituality and just as I studied more and more uh, it was a natural progression of my path to come to a place as I came deeper into myself that yoga was an outflow of that. And that's how I came to start practicing yoga and then wanting to teach it as well and to share mm -hmm. that same integration of science and spirituality. Sounds like you're part of the grounding element, holding that wisdom, you know, at the base so mm -hmm. that uh, the healing and the technology and um, the benefits of yoga can flourish. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's very nice. So. Um, uh, Lola and Kevin, you refer to Yoga Lola as a yoga learning and healing center. So what exactly do you mean by that? We take all three of those pieces which are part of the bigger whole and we blend them together. Yoga is about learning and healing. Um, I've been studying yoga for 14 years and I've barely scratched the surface. It is such a deep um, technology. And the healing um, can come through yoga, through learning pranayama, through learning how to do it in the classes and taking it into your life to manage stress, frustration, fear, um, adverse life circumstances. It's also the kind of energy work that we do. We fold that in here. And then a learning center through having teachers from all over the world come in here and share their knowledge. Um, opening the doors to everyone so that truly a blended, it's a blended tradition so that everyone has an opportunity to come here and share what they know and share how they know it to anyone who's interested in learning it. Um, we don't believe there's any one pathway. We believe there are many paths that lead to the same place and that's what we do here. We open the door to everyone. The vision for Yoga Lola Studios has been very organic in nature and so uh, Lola and I have experienced ourselves as more of being facilitators in what it wants to create and what it wants to be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rather than having a fixed and set vision of it and so the, um, what we've been working hard at is being open to observing what's going on and what direction it's taking, mm -hmm. and then being open to um, following that direction and pursuing different paths. The way Kevin and I approach working with the studio is that 
we feel like we're co-creators. We don't feel like owners. We don't feel like we have possession of the studio. We're kind of more like captains of a ship at this point, and the people who are coming on board with us are actually bringing piece by piece um, parts of what will soon become something that takes sail all on its own. So we welcome everyone from every walk of life, from every philosophy, from every background, as long as they come in peace and they are here to help spread the joy. Thank you.